Jason's complaining that he's hungry. It's true. <laughs> and well, we're on passage. We're in the two Motus, where there is just not a whole lot of fresh foods to be found. Went to the grocery store this morning in Rangaroa before we set off for Fakaraba. And of course, the grocery store was wiped out. They had carrots and eggs. That was it. So that's what I got. And now we're down to kind of like dried canned goods type of meals. So I thought I'd take you into the kitchen and show you one of my recipes that I make for these exact instances. thing is the sad looking carrots that I was able to pick up today. They're a little bendy, but they're still good. Minus the tip. Yep. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, carrots, yes. So I have carrots. I have some chickpeas that I made the other day from dried chickpeas. I'll make some hummus. I'll have some carrot sticks. That'll be for munching. And then I'm going to make a pasta out of pearls. I love pearl pasta uh, because it's a good pasta. It's kind of like couscous except for bigger. And you can eat it when it's cold and it's nice and it's so hot that eating hot meals is not really very appealing. So we're gonna do some pearls with pesto, artichokes. I have some sun-dried tomatoes and I have a little bit of fresh garlic left and we're gonna use some dried portobello. Nope, sorry, take that back. I think these are shiitakes. Anyway, dried mushrooms. Let's get cracking. Since the refrigerator's broken, it's now storage. Anyway, we're starting with the mushrooms. I'm gonna do three. I'd say that's about a cup. I'm gonna hydrate those in a little bit of water and balsamic vinegar because it will help add a little extra flavor to the mushrooms. Okay, and it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more water. I can tell there's a good amount of water in there, but I'll keep checking these every couple of minutes. So I'm just gonna set them aside. Moving on, we're gonna peel and chop those carrots and get them in the refrigerator because if you put carrots in the refrigerator in water, the cold water helps plump them back up and then they get nice and firm and crisp again because right now, well, it's a little bendy. So we'll firm them up and it'll make them taste better. It's totally okay to throw food scraps into the ocean to feed the turtles and probably other things. note about the mushrooms I will make sure and link to the exact mushrooms that I bought but you can buy them whole or slice both work really well it's hard to slice the dried whole mushrooms before they're hydrated um, so I have a tendency to like the slice I feel like they're kind of ready to go a bit more um, either one works ah, hey, Kat. hey hey it's not for Come you. On. It's not you. Look, it's carrots. You don't even like carrots. Come on. I know. I know. So grumpy when it comes to food. It's not all for you. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> That's what you have to deal with every day. Every day. You think the cat is bad, you should see Jason. Uncle 
Mike taught me this trick. Slam the garlic with your knife, and the peel comes right off. Easy peasy. And then, I like to make sure they're good and crushed because it releases a lot of the flavor. Flavor, flavor. Obviously, there's not an exact amount. I would say probably, again, about a cup. I try to do equal parts of artichoke to mushroom and not quite equal parts. I'll do probably about maybe, a, I don't know, like eight sun-dried tomatoes, something like that. All right, now we're ready for the really fun part, making pasta. Nice catch. <laughs> What happens when you buy a cheap mount? Mount? Mount. Cheap mount. Uh, let's take camera be the judge. Mm -hmm. I'm sure by now you're probably so hungry that you would say anything's amazing. It's 2.15. Yeah, I'm hungry. That's what happens when you film stuff. It takes twice as long. Okay, I think we're ready to serve up, love. Okay. Does eat? Salt? No. no? I probably should put some red pepper in it. Whoa! Whoa. 
Look! Red pepper's a great idea! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> or it's fine as it is. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. It is wonderful. Put the website on the recipe. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm gonna turn the camera off before it falls. Yeah. Alright, now back to that hummus. <laughs> now that we've eaten and we're not going to pass out. Hummus is like one of the easiest things ever to make and so many people buy it at the grocery store. I used to be one of them until I watched somebody else make it and I was like, you're kidding me. That's it? I could have been doing this that whole time. Anyway, very easy. So, you can use a can of chickpeas, no problem. Or just just as well, but I carry more dried goods than I do canned goods. So I carry dried chickpeas and then I make them in my pressure cooker. Whenever I cook my chickpeas, I put dried garlic in my pressure cooker. This helps add extra flavor inside the chickpeas themselves. Lemon jus. Put olive oil. Typically hummus is made with Tahini, which is really just like sesame butter. It's just ground up sesame seeds. I don't have any tahini, but honestly, you only put like a teaspoon in an entire container like this. So it's not a lot. I don't think it affects the flavor or the texture. I'm sure there's there are people out there that will argue with me, but I don't think it does. So I do it just like this. Lemon juice, olive oil, sometimes a dash of water depending on your chickpeas. Mine are a little bit drier because I made them myself in a pressure cooker. If you're using canned chickpeas, they're usually softer and have a little more water content to them. You won't need any, just lemon juice and olive oil, you're good to go. And you pulse it and then blend it and that's it. Okay, now, you'll notice I didn't add salt or anything else yet because I do a taste test first. Right amount of lemon. I think I need a touch more olive oil and now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a touch. This is a little bit of salt that it's lemon rosemary salt. I'll put a link to the company I bought this from. I think it's called the San Francisco Salt Company, but I will, uh, there will be a link because I don't wanna say that wrong. Anyway, um, I found this company a while back when I was in Florida and I've been buying the salts ever since because they have several flavored ones or I mean they're naturally flavored but anyway they're really tasty this one is lemon rosemary they're really nice finishing salts for all kinds of things all right another little taste test I call it perfect how about you, cameraman? Huh? Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah? Good. Okay, see? Stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, we're done. We're done, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. That is, so now we've got extra leftover pasta, so we can have that tonight if you need a snack, um, or for tomorrow. We had it for lunch. Now I've got some hummus and some carrots ready to go for also snacking. And then I'll probably make some cookies and who knows whatever else because what else do you do on passage besides cook, eat, sleep, and sit at the helm? <laughs> That's about it. That right there is the end of Rangaroa. Yeah, I don't know what happened. That like came out of nowhere. It just started lightning and thundering and then bam, 20 knots of wind, 25 knots of wind. Yeah. Awesome. Free difference. <laughs> yeah. Just look at 
looks so pretty. Rain on water. You wouldn't think it was so exciting, but... I don't know, I find it very tranquil. It's like the most soothing thing to watch that happen. the landing. Okay, it's not so tranquil anymore. <laughs> this is where it's really nice to have radar. Yeah. You can't see a thing. dreamy sunrise after such a stormy night. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you want the recipes for the meals I whipped up, or if you want to know more about the gadgets in our galley, head over to our website. You'll find a blog post with additional thoughts and information. And if you click on the gear store up top and then on kitchen faves, you'll find everything I use today. Well, mostly. Shopping through these links doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps us keep these videos flowing. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. I know, singer. <laughs>